Good morning, YouTube. I am Shawnee, 2003, and I just want to show you guys my little garden. This here is my calamundin. This is my first time having one of these plants, and I have little fruit on them. I believe they're going to make it. None of them have fallen off so far. So good. I'm excited about that. I have never tasted them before. And this here, all my bell peppers. So in this container, I have multiple variety of bell peppers. It is yellow, orange, and red. And as you can see, I have bell peppers that are changing colors, yay. Also in this container, I have some carrots. If you look in here real good, I can zoom in. Y'all see them carrots? I think those are purple or red. No, those are red. Because I have a purple one up back there. Uh oh, let me turn away. Uh, let's see. Y'all see that purple one back there? The focus good. Yay. So I'm getting carrots. I was ready to pull these guys up. And I decided to let them stay a little bit longer. And I'm happy I did because they get some good size to them. First time growing carrots. But I will be growing them for my fall garden also. I have a lot of bell peppers on this plants. I think I have about hmm, five or six different bell pepper plants in here. Not all of them produce bell peppers. But whatever. It's fine. Also... I have strawberries so I'm not too sure about these guys this is my first year growing strawberries um these were called sweet berry strawberries and I don't know if these like a June bear and variety or what because they starting to die back so can you guys let me know if it's normal for them to die back and will they come back or did I kill them from the sun someone let me know something also, I have tomatoes and tomatillos. These are my tomatillos. Um, tomato. This one is a blue beauty tomato. I have not tasted not one tomato off of here yet because the heat is killing them. I did have one big one, but it rained right before I harvested and it split. So have not tasted any of them but it's still growing so maybe i'll get some also i have roma tomatoes yeah it fell all the way over you know that good stuff you guys say tomato cases are not good but i feel like i need one. Oh, look um i believe this one is the pineapple tomato i just noticed these guys hmm that's pretty cool. Never had a pineapple tomato before. And my aromas. If you got to scroll out. Y'all see that there? Roma tomatoes. They are growing with no problem. They do not care about the heat. So I will be planting them again next year. They are everywhere. Just putting off tomatoes. And this here is my fig nice cute little figs they're not real big they're probably about the size of my thumb but i'm anxious to taste them see if they taste like this is my second year having this fig and last year it did a couple of fruit but they fell off and when i split them open they were dry even though they were purple so yeah this pretty loaded with fruit i have found a lot of fruit that has dropped off fingers crossed this here is my sweetie pie blackberry this girl needs a bigger pack because she has branches growing everywhere i did get to try some of her blackberries mm, i'm not a big fan of the seediness i'm not a fan of it but i am going to repack her something bigger and I guess tie her up some type of way 
don't know how but she a grown blackberry i am new to growing this is my mango some seed i grew this from seed last year i keep saying i'm gonna put it in the bigger pot and i haven't done it yet but she's still alive and growing so i am excited about my little apples it looks all deformed and beat up and stuff like that i don't know why it has these spots i am organic gardener and it's blushing oh no it's going bad man see i had three apples on this tree and that's the reason why i got rid of the last one because it had a spot on it just like that that showed me it's going bad and it just started turning red these are my macintosh apples i guess i'm gonna go ahead and take this one off my last apple because i see a little spot on that one too i'm gonna go ahead and take it off put it on a countertop let us do a thing hopefully it will continue ripening don't know for some growing apples um this over here is my blueberry bush i didn't know that they flower throughout the year but this guy was putting out new flowers so i have a couple of little blueberries on here is it still throwing out flowers it's been so hot here in north carolina i have not been checking on my plants as i usually do oh yep see they go a fresh one or like another flower i have not been checking on my plants like i usually do because I water these things in the morning, water them in the evening when I get off of work, and run in the house. It's been close to 100 degrees down here. This here is another strawberry plant I have in this long planter. This is like um, three or four plants in this one planter. As you can see, they are still giving out strawberries, but they're dying back also. And I have wasps. These wasps are eating the strawberries like i see them out here literally eating strawberries which is crazy to me because i didn't know they do that and that there is my alberta peach tree no peaches this year hopefully next year it will be loaded because she has a lot of little areas on her that look as though it will be flower areas so i'm hoping so I gotta move this girl around again. Y'all see that? I think that would be what my flowers would be on her. Oh, and all this is new growth. As you can see, it's starting to harden off. So she wasn't this big when I first got her. If you go back and look at some of my videos. So I am really excited about the new growth this girl is doing. She is now taller than me. She was not taller than me at first. She's taller than me. I'm not nothing but 5'4". And I feel like she about 5'8". But I'm excited to get some peaches next year. I do believe them little nodes here will be, well, be having flowers. Excited, excited. It is still in the container. So when I got it from the store, I will be also putting her in something bigger. I'm just waiting for her to go dormant. Because I didn't want to disturb her growth. So once she go dormant, bigger pack for her. So we're going to take a walk out here to my bananas. Oh, hold on before we go to the bananas. I do have more up close and personal of some of my tomatoes. They were on the other side of the pack. I couldn't go around. My Roma tomatoes. I have one down there that is blushing. They're growing like crazy with no problems. They don't care about the heat. I have some jalapeno peppers. Now this thing do not care about the heat. It has been producing peppers like crazy. Peppers everywhere. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Okay, <clears throat> let's take this walk. Take the walk out to the banana. So, 
before I show off my banana babies, I'm going to show off this Meyer lemon. So, I was not sure that this girl was going to live. But guys, look, I have a lemon. <laughs> my first lemon, it is there. I think it's going to stay there. I think I will get to harvest my first lemon off this girl. And she is still in her original pack. Which I do believe is a three gallon. I'm excited. This here is my navel orange. I put these guys all the way out in the sun because they like the heat. So I just throw them out here. A lot of the leaf curl is from spiders, which I hate, as you can see. Putting little webs in there. And I think a lot of also is from the heat. Because North Carolina has been blazing, baby. Let's check out my bananas. I don't know what is going on with these guys. This is week two. I don't know. I'm scared I'm going to break something. I don't like touching them. Because I'm always scared I'm going to break something. This is week two. Of having my bananas from Black Tropical Homestead. This is a Niwa ice cream banana. When I first got it, it had some leaves on it. They started dying back, so I was told to remove the leaves. And I did that, and this morning I came out and finally showing me some sign of life. But I don't know what's going on, as long as it's still alive. This one here is my Mazzano banana. I don't know what that little bee is doing. Little bee, there is no nectar here. Or maybe it's split and have a sweet smell to it. I don't know. But this is my Mazzano. It's pitting off new banana shoot, I guess. Leaves. I don't know what it's doing. It's still alive. I'm happy. And this here is my Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa was the one that split. And she bust out. Do this. My first official banana leaf from this girl. I'm happy. She's still alive. I'm happy. That's all that matters. And this is the Dorf Cavendish. Dorf Cavendish, listen, hit the ground rolling. No problems at all. It shot its leaves up and it's been doing its thing. No problem. Dorf Cavendish is a winner in my book. Hopefully, I will be able to keep all four of these ladies alive. Please excuse my chickens. Someone's supposed to be dropping an egg and has not done it yet. And I don't know what's taking her so long, but she's getting on everyone's nerves, including other chickens. But, my banana, baby. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I am Shawnee2003. And you have checked out my little garden that I have. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some pointers. I need it. I'm new gardener. Thank you. Bye.